Sign Law Applications, C3, Understanding Ambiguous Cases. Well, it's a communication question, and we want to understand few scenarios where the number of solutions may be more than one or at times none. So we will see what are these cases, okay? Let's consider a triangle in general. Let's say that's my triangle ABC, okay? I'm just drawing a general triangle ABC here. We'll say this is my triangle with sides A, B, and C, right? In that case, this side is B for me, this side is C, and that side is small a for me. And let's consider the triangle with height. Let me just draw a perpendicular from C to AB. In that case, the height of the triangle is, let, let us say, is H. Correct? Now, in this triangle, we can say, we can write H in terms of angle A. So, sine of A is equals to H, the opposite side over B, right? H over B. And therefore, H could be written as equals to B times sine of A, correct? So, in this triangle, we will consider a couple of scenarios. One, where angle A is acute. The other one, where angle A is obtuse. Obtuse means more than 90 degrees, okay? So, let's first consider the cases where A is acute angle. That means it is less than 90 degrees. In that case, if I give you the side opposite to A as equal to, let us say, equal to, if I say, well, my triangle has angle A equals to, let's say, 30 degrees, some acute angle triangle. And if I give you side A, which is equals to the height of the triangle, if I give you side A equals to height of the triangle, in that case, you will make a triangle which will be a right angle triangle, correct? So you'll have, if A is equals to B sine A, that means the height of the triangle. In that case, you will make a triangle which is a right angle triangle. So you'll actually get a triangle like this. If I give you this side, A equals to H, right? Then we'll make a triangle which will be a right angle triangle. So this is the scenario when A equals to H. Now, if I give you value of A which is greater than H but less than B, right? Now we are assuming that this is us, angle A is smaller than angle B. In that case, side A has to be smaller than B, right? So we are considering next scenario where A is greater than height H but is less than B, correct? In that case, see it could be, the situation could be like this. Let me first draw the dotted line here and let's say this is my triangle with B and H. Now I am given A, let me use a different, which is more than H. That means it is not a right angle triangle. It may hit here, here or you know, cut that. But, but less than B. In that case, it is possible that that A can give me two triangles. Do you see that? Like this. So if we could get one triangle like this and the other triangle like this. So this is when A is greater than the altitude or the height of the triangle H, but less than B, right? In that case, we will have A making two particular triangles, right? We can get a smaller triangle like this or a bigger triangle like that, right? So, so that is the ambiguous case that is possible to have two particular triangles. And in this case, you will see that if that angle is, let us say, theta, then this angle will be 180 minus theta. So this angle will be 180 degrees minus theta. So that is how these two angles will be related. Correct? So, so that is how this will be because these two sides are equal. So if this is theta, it has to be theta, right? These two will be theta. So that angle is 180 minus theta. Correct? 
So that is an ambiguous case. We don't know which triangle we are talking about. So in case you have a problem in which you find that acute angle is given and the side opposite to acute angle is more than the height that is B sine A, then there is a possibility that there could be two triangles. And then you have to make two triangles. One of them will have an angle of theta, the other will have angle of 180 minus theta. As you can see here, it is an isosceles triangle. So this theta, that has to be theta. This is a straight line. So it has to be 180 minus theta. So those are the two cases. Now let's take another scenario where A is less than H. In that case, what happens? In that case, you know, we have this triangle here. And let me just draw the dotted line for the height. The height is this much. And since A is less than H, then it will be somewhere here. A triangle cannot be formed. Do you see that? So we don't have... So here we have two triangles. Here no triangle, right? No triangle. Here we have two triangles, correct? And in this case, we have a right triangle, correct? So these are different scenarios where for different values of A, we have different kinds of triangles, correct? And if, if the last scenario is, if A is greater than B, right? If A is greater than B, this side is B for us and this side is H for us, correct? And this is A we are talking about. That is the point A in all these triangles, okay? So, so the thing is, this is B for us, and that is it. But if A is greater than B, in that case, in that case, we'll have just one triangle, right? So that will be the triangle, right? Because the other side, mm -hmm, it can't make any, right? So, if A is greater than B, then we have one triangle, right? So, that is for sure certain. This is uncertain. We just can't make a triangle, not possible. Here we have two cases, correct? In this case, yes, we have one case, and we know it is always a right triangle. If A equals to H, and H in all these cases is B sine A, correct? B sin A, correct? That is the value of H. Now, if angle A is obtuse angle, so these were the cases where we considered angle A to be acute angle, right? So first was case one, when A is acute angle, right? Now let us consider case two, where A is obtuse angle, right? If A is obtuse angle, then small a, the side opposite, should be the longest side in the triangle. Otherwise, you cannot make a triangle, right? If, if A is obtuse angle, this is acute angle, right? If A is obtuse angle, so this is acute angle, and that is obtuse angle, right? Obtuse angle, because A is greater than 90 degrees. This is side B, that is the point A we are talking about. In that case, if A is equal to B or smaller than B, right? Then you cannot have a triangle. You can only have a triangle if A is side A is greater than B, right? Then one triangle is possible, one triangle, right? Otherwise, no triangle. So if A is less than equal to B, then no triangle, right? None. For example, here A is less than B or even equal to B, you cannot make a triangle. But if A is greater than B, in that case, you'll always make a triangle. So, against an obtuse angle, the side should be the longest side in the triangle. Otherwise, a triangle cannot be formed. 
So we will consider many ambiguous cases here in following examples. So the main thing here is if A is acute, you have to find what B sine A is and compare the side opposite to A, which is small a, with B sine A. Right? If it is equal, then we have a right triangle. If A is greater than this but less than B, in that case we can have two triangles. And if A is greater than B, then we have a unique triangle. And if A is less than H, then we don't have any triangle. Correct? Now, if A is obtuse angle, in that case we need to see whether A is greater than B or not. If A is greater than B, then yes, a triangle is possible. Otherwise, no triangle is possible to be formed. Okay? So these are the different ambiguous cases which we will be considering soon. Thank you.